I love the costumes in this game. I don't think I've ever really talked about anything on this channel in a fully positive light, but I think today is that day. I've always been enamored by how Insomniac was consistently able to take Spider-Man's comic book costumes and make them into such realistic looking suits. Today I'm going to tell you about how Insomniac redesigns costumes and why I love Insomniac's Spider-Man suits. Now to be clear, I don't think all of these costumes are winners, but I'm going to talk about the ones that I think are, and before we do, uh, let's find a costume to use for an example as for what I'm talking about. Let's look at their rendition of the Iron Spider suit. You'll notice in terms of design, it's almost identical to the one from the comics, give or take a few added liberties that enhance the original costume's design. For example, the original Iron Spider only had a red and gold color palette and omitted any accent colors from the costume. But Insomniac only makes subtle changes to the original by adding hints of gray throughout the costume in areas where Peter would need more flexibility. I think it's a color that fits well into the color palette of the original costume. And here, it doesn't overstep its boundaries and turn the costume into something else, like the other one. Not to mention that this costume also adds small glowy pads onto the hands and feet, and what even looks like an arc reactor onto his chest. That's a really nice touch. I also love the bright ruby red they went with. I think it works well with the shade of gold they put on the costume. I just love everything about this version of this costume. I love that the lenses have a small edge that runs along the front. I love the small gold elements on the knuckles, and I love how every joint on his body has several creases and crevices that look like they'd allow metal to move so naturally around his legs like it does in the game. I could talk about this version of the Iron Spider all day. It's a phenomenal redesign, and you'll notice something similar about all these designs that I show in this video when compared to their comic book counterparts. Another one of my favorite redesigns in this game is the Big Time Stealth Suit. This costume from the comics is bright green and entirely black. Something I want to highlight about Insomniac's redesign before I get to the unique elements of this suit is that this costume has several seams, and so does almost every other costume in this game. Usually, when Spider-Man is drawn, sometimes he's drawn without seams, and sometimes this carries over into video games, and so much more. Putting seams on costumes just makes Spider-Man costumes feel much more real. I know this is something only I care about because I'm an autistic fuck who does nothing but consume Spider-Man content all day, but it makes me happy, and I think it can make other people happy too. Also, they add special fabrics to each costume. Each costume has a specific pattern fabric, and it's awesome. It's such an easy way to make these costumes feel like they could show up in movies, because it looks like they're made out of the same exact shit the movie suits are made of. But, but anyway, back to the big time. Something really cool about this costume is that it takes advantage of the vastly open canvas the black portions on the big time suit are. They added small armor padding to the shoulders, elbows, and knee pads, which all look like they're made out of some low grade padded armor. Which makes sense, this suit shouldn't have super clunky armor, because it's built for stealth. I kinda wish they used the same material for the hands and feet instead of the more shiny black armor pieces they used, but nonetheless I still love it. I also love the lenses on this costume. I love how big and round they are. I also think the shade of green on this costume is so vibrant and appealing. I love how low-key the shininess of the green parts are. It's so minute that there's usually just a small pinprick of light in the green portions. It's bossa nova. Mwah, it's beautiful. But you know, I can't help but notice something similar about the designs of these two redesigned costumes. I just can't put my finger on it. Who knows, maybe stick around and I'll find it out by the end of the video. Maybe leave a like, too. That'd be nice. Thank you. Next costume. Alright, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really care for this one when it came out. I saw it in games like Spider-Man Unlimited and... Actually, that'd be a really good video to make about Spider-Man Unlimited. Anyway, I saw it in games like Edge of Time, Spider-Man Unlimited, and the Amazing Spider-Man 2 licensed game, but... I never really cared much for it. But after Insomniac got their hands on it, now I love it. The gold trim, the cuts in the logo, now I feel like I can truly appreciate it. I don't really have any other particular reason for it, but I never hear anyone else talk about this suit either. But in Spider-Man PS4, I really, really enjoy it. But I think I know why that is. The common thread that's run through every costume I've shown in this video is that they weren't redesigned. They were barely touched by the designers at Insomniac. And that's a good thing. All they needed to do was make these costumes feel real. They only added 
to the design. They never, ever took away. Adding a sense of realism to a comic book costume, whether it be with shiny screen printed fabrics and seam lines, can make any costume look a million times more appealing. Sometimes just looking at the costume drawn out on paper isn't really enough to grab people. But adding intricate and realistic details while still sticking faithful to the original design is sometimes all you really need to make a costume beloved by fans. What we need is more superhero suits being brought to life as opposed to being reimagined. And I think the people who reimagine really good superhero costumes have a lot to learn from the lovely people over at Insomniac. There's so much more good costumes in this game that I didn't mention either. You've got the Scarlet Spider outfit. You've got the, the, what's that one called? I forget what it's called. I always forget the name of it. It's the Resilient Suit. I like that one. I know some people don't like it. I don't, I know, I know some people don't like it, but I do. I like it. I, I also think the classic suit, despite what I said about it in like a previous video, I still, I still think it looks pretty good. I like the fabrics on it. I like it. I like it a lot. And also, despite how much I trash on the PS4 suit sometimes, I like the materials it's made out of. I, sometimes, sometimes I can sit down and really enjoy that suit. All you need, all you need, all you need is some good fabric, some good seam lines, some soles too. I love, I love good soles on Spidey outfits. It's good. It's good. 